So, two weeks travel in Iran. What are your takeaways? What will you miss the most? One thing. Then I'll do one thing. We'll just... What will I miss the most? Yeah. One thing? Oh, food. Well, I have an Iranian wife, so I don't, <laughs> I sh I'm not sure if I should say this. Uh, I'm going to say the friends, really. It's yeah. the people here in Iran. It's unbelievably friendly. Good open. food with friends. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's really the thing. Yeah, there's old know. stuff and beautiful things to see, but really, it's about the people when you go to Iran. By far, yeah. By that's... far. It's like uh, the alcohol is not a thing here. They don't drink it officially, and they don't really don't, and they don't need it because when they go out to party, Oh, they party. It's, just, it, it's fun. They're interacting. They're loose. Yeah. They're making jokes. It's just, it's the most fun you can have. And it's the most friendly people. It's easily the country where you make the most friends with the local people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, that was a great experience this yeah. time again. So a Again, just like last time. Um, is there something you won't miss? You're like, oh, glad I'm getting back to my own country. Uh, Tehran air quality. I will mm. not miss that. Uh, you have to be prepared for... Um, Right after it rains, like today, it's okay, but uh, I would highly recommend going in spring because that's the time when the air quality is doable, yep. but there are times when the air quality is in Tehran is really bad. Yep. So if that's not your thing, uh, go to Iran anyway, but leave Tehran, yep. go to another city, go to another place because uh, that can actually be an issue. I would that's say exactly the same thing. Air quality, uh, especially in Tehran. <laughs> So yeah. try escape it or use it on the good days. That's a thing. Yeah. Uh, another thing you'll miss from Iran. Hmm. Did I say food? Yeah, I think. I it, think there's I something with food. food. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, actually, the flexibility of of everything. Mm. Um, if you're really rigid, if you like rules, regulations, everything to be predictable. Yeah, and this ain't your country, right? You might not no. like this place, but the fact that everything is so flexible, for someone like me, that is actually good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So I have a bit of a harder time with that. It really takes some adjustment for me to get into the flow of, yeah, we'll just, you know, it'll be later, be fine. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I'm smiling because someone wants to yeah. go by with a cart. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, 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 that works. Perfect. Awesome. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, oh, yeah, uh, I'm going to miss the food because, yeah, the food here is great if you want the local food, if you want something else. And to be honest, after two weeks, I really did want something else. That's a bit harder to find things. So I'm looking forward to some real good, healthy Asian food because I haven't really found that here. So that's yeah. what I'm looking for. If you're in for Chinese food, Iran's not the place. No. Or Vietnamese food yeah. or Thai food, then you're just totally out of luck. Burgers, pizza, uh, and of course, a local Burgers, cuisine. pizza are, yeah. are easy to find, actually. Really healthy and options. Good ones too. All so, of them, yeah. Definitely. The healthy thing is a thing here. I, I gain kilos here, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to show my. I, I'm going to spare you the No, it's belly, good the camera ends right here. Yes. It's really good that it ends right here. Let's just stick there's it more of me now than there was when we started. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. But happier. So definitely, yeah. Half here, so it's, it's good. The kilos will sometime, yeah. well, they will wear off. Oh. I don't know. And Hopefully. I thought I had like a list of things I wanted to see in, in Iran, thinking that my list of things to see in Iran would get shorter. But of course, what happens is the list of things I wanted to see in Iran just grew and grew and grew, because then you hear about more awesome places to visit. So I'll definitely be back, and I'm really sure that you're going to be back. I um, was here for five times now, so and, then and it's just stupid not to go a sixth time. I just thought of. So, yeah. 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 Are there, uh, for, you've been here uh, in Iran for longer periods of time. My maximum of now was two weeks, and I'm really, I really enjoyed the two weeks, but I'm quite happy to go back. Just, you know, air quality from Tehran, just getting back to more healthy food. Are there things you can do to prevent these things if you want to stay here longer? Well, don't stay in, if the air quality gets bad, just don't stay in mm -hmm. Tehran too long. There are so yep. many fantastic places. Or go, go uphill a little bit, because you can go yeah, up to the if north you, if, you're, if, if you, you got money. Yeah, if you leave Tehran in the north, you can do that for the weekend. You mm -hmm. can actually have a great air quality and a really change of climate, literally. Yep. You, you, within three hours, you're in a completely different climate. Yeah. It, it looks alpine with yep. rain and forest and everything. From the city center, you can see snow-capped mountains, <clears throat> even now in May, snow-capped mountains. Yeah, you can actually go from snow-capped mountains to the desert in one single day yeah. with everything in between. Um, so and leave Tehran, and there's actually... If you are here for a longer time, there are plenty of good options for healthy food. Just 
<clears throat> yeah, I would say leave the ice cream alone. Hmm, yeah. If you would stare. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. And maybe we, next time we'll have to find more vegetarian places to eat because it just happens because you're traveling and you just want some food. You go somewhere and then there's always meat, 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 meat. And it's hard to find really good vegetarian food. But it's I bet it's out there, especially in Tehran because it's, it's big enough. Many so. kinds of international foods and probably also vegetarian options are there. But yeah. there you have to realize that they're kind of sort of limited in Iran. Yeah. Yeah, and the fesadjan is so good, and the juju torch is so good, and there's so many good meat options. Meat, meat, and meat. Yeah, the meat is is really tasty here in this country. Uh, anything else after two weeks of Iran? Well, I'm happy to go back home, but I'm mean, <laughs> gonna miss friends here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And if you haven't been to Iran, by the way, uh, all the things you have up here about Iran, what it is. Um, it's probably all misconceptions based on things that aren't true. It's so much different than you think it is. The most hospitable, welcome people yeah. ever, friendly, and you feel safe like everywhere. Yeah, it, it, it will literally, if you want your mind blown in the, the most positive, conceivable way, uh, just visit this country. Oh, and if you're Dutch, by the way, it's really cheap to go here. Yeah, euros. That I mean, this is actually not good for Iranians because no, euro it's price is gonna yeah. have gone up ridiculously. But if you're a tourist, um, if you go here, yes, this country is for now for us. It is really, really cheap. Bring an empty suitcase and think of things you could buy but wouldn't buy back home because, like, a tailored suit would cost too much. You can buy it here, or tailored shirts, or uh, anything involving people skills, like graphic design, printing stuff, all that kind of stuff is way cheaper here. So if you need that stuff, bring an empty suitcase and get it done here and bring some money into the country because they like euros here. Euros, not do well dollars too, but euros mostly. Yeah. yeah. Bring euros, always a good deal. Definitely. Yeah. Um, right, in summary, thank you so much, Iran. You've been a great host yet again. Oh, yeah. um, Love to see you soon. And if you're thinking about going to Iran, have a look at some of my videos. Uh, I'll link them somewhere in the description below. 12 things you should know before you go to Iran, where I get into the really practical things aside. That's this. That's Mark. I'm David. See you all. Safe travels. Peace.